a lot of clinics are not going to care about the dose of platelets that they're injecting. And so there are now level one studies showing that that high dose PRP for knee osteoarthritis is really required to give patients the best chance at actually having an improvement in their symptoms. And so there's now been a few meta-analyses that have looked at, they compare low dose PRP studies to high dose PRP studies. And what you consistently see is that low dose studies fail. Those two papers in JAMA that got published that said that PRP doesn't work for Achilles tendinopathy, and I, I don't even remember, I think it was a rotator cuff tear on the other one, very poor quality PRP. Their, their platelet dose was not sufficient enough. You compare those studies to studies that show benefit, and the biggest key difference here is the dose of platelets. And so if, if somebody goes to a clinic, whether it's outside the U.S. or even here in the, in, in the U.S., and even if they had extra articular outside the joint structures treated and they didn't see a response, one of the first things that I think about is misdiagnosis. So they didn't inject the right structures that were actually causing pain. The second thing I think about is what was the quality of PRP that was dosed? As you know, with, you know, you do ozone. And so you, you can't just give them a micro dose of ozone and be, and then it doesn't work and then go, oh, ozone doesn't work. No, there's mm -hmm. protocols. There's a dose, right? You have to make sure you're hitting a certain dose in order for ozone to, to tell somebody this ozone has a very high percent chance that it's going to help you. The same thing applies with, with PRP. The same thing applies with bone marrow, with adipose, all these biologics. I, I tell patients, it's like if you took one eighth of a Tylenol for your headache and it didn't help you, you can't say that Tylenol doesn't work because you didn't take the right dose, right? If you take the if you take the proper dose of Tylenol and it doesn't work, okay, now we know that Tylenol doesn't work for you. But same thing with biologics. If you inject a mini dose of PRP, you can't say that it was that the PRP was ineffective. It's just that it wasn't dosed properly.